And first to 10, racial slurs, swastikas, and serious property damage. Tonight, Inkster police are looking for the person responsible for two separate vandalism incidents. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarini is live in Inkster with what happened, Brianne. Well, police believe these two incidences are connected. The most recent happening just last night, and the destruction's pretty intense. One of the victims says he's so scared he's looking for a new place to live. Here's a look at the vandalism that happened last night to two cars in Inkster. Racial slurs, swastikas, tires slashed. It happened near the area of Cherry Hill and Bitmore. One of the victims is too scared to even speak about it. He's not feeling safe right now, and he informed me that he's going to stay at a relative's home. He's not going to even stay in his apartment. Dawood Walid is the executive director of the Michigan chapter of the Council for American Islamic Relations. He says both cars that were vandalized last night belonged to Muslims. One had only moved into his apartment on January 1st. This man literally does not want to sleep in his apartment. He's not even been in there for a week, and, and this has happened. Walid wants a federal investigation for hate crimes. Inkster police say they are taking this case very seriously. They believe the two cars vandalized last night are also related to this spray painting incident that happened in late December. Well, it does scare people, and the reason why it's scary because, you know, you know when we look at the reports uh, in the last recent uh, several months, there's been an increase of, of uh, what they call racial incidents, and uh, that should scare everyone. The chief says they're increasing patrols in the area of Cherry Hill and Bitmore Road. He says he's not sure if it's a personal attack or a broad racial statement, but he wants residents to watch out for suspicious behavior. It's unacceptable, and it's not going to be accepted. And that's why we're asking and we're hoping that anyone that have any idea who may be, may be responsible for this, they need to call and let us know. At this point, police believe there is no surveillance video of the incidents. But again, they're hoping people with any information will call in. They say tips will be key to solving this crime. Live in Inkster, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.